Let's look at the lesson, multiply two numbers up to 100. It says multiply. So we have 19 times 5, so we can write it 19 times 5. Now on the bottom, I always start with the number on the right, the number in the ones place. So I'll multiply 5 times 9 first, and that is 45. So my 5 goes in the ones place and my 4 goes in the tens place. Now we have 5 times 1. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 4 more is 9. So our answer is 95. Here we have 16 times 1. Well, we could write it out 16 times 1. 1 times 6 is 6 and 1 times 1 is 1. But I also know that 16 just one time would just be 16. Here we have 12 times 9. 12 times 9. So we start with 9 times 2, which is 18. My 8 goes in the 1's place. My 1 goes in the 10's place. Now we have 9 times 1, which is 9. We can't forget to add on that extra 1, so that is 10. 108 is my final answer. Two times 15, so I'll write it 15 times two. Two times five is 10, so my zero goes in the ones place and my one goes in the tens place. And then I multiply two times one, which is two, and then I add on that one more, that's three. So 30 is my final answer. Now we have 19 times 13. Do you remember how I said always start on the right side? So we're going to start on the right side with our three. Do three times nine, which is 27. My seven goes in the ones place and my two goes in the tens place. Then we multiply three times one, which is three, and then two more, which is five. Now we're going to skip the ones place. We will have nothing in the ones place here because now we are multiplying with this 10 it's written as a one here, but it is a, it's a 10 because 10 plus three is 13. So here will be 10 times nine and 10 times one. So we will not be using the ones place. So one times nine is nine and one times one is one. So now we have seven plus nothing is seven and five plus nine is 14 and we carry our one. One plus one is two. 247. Now we have 18 times 17. So seven times eight is 56. I'll put my six in the ones place and the five in the tens place. Now seven times one is seven plus five more is 12. Now here, remember we skip the ones place. This time I'll put a zero in the ones place because we are not multiplying with ones anymore on this side. We know that we have a 10 that we're multiplying, so it's going to be larger than ones. So one times eight is eight, and one times one is one. So let's add those together. Six plus zero is six. Two plus eight is 10, so let's carry the one. One plus one plus one is three. Our answer is 306. Now we have 16 times nine. 16 times nine. Nine times six is 54, so my four goes in the ones place and the five goes in the tens place. Nine times one is nine, plus five more is 14. So our answer is 144, which is right here. Now we have nine times seven. Nine times seven. Well, I know 10 times seven is 70, so nine times seven is seven less than 70, which is 63. Five times zero. Ah, I know that if I have five is zero times, I have a zero. So zero is my answer. Now we have 20 times 17. Seven times zero is zero. Seven times two is 14. 
Now remember we skip our ones place. Now we have one times zero is zero and one times two is two. So here we have zero plus zero is zero. Four plus zero is four. One plus two is three. So our answer is 340, which is right here. Fantastic work today, friends.